Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with a Rogue's Den minigame guide for Old School RuneScape and my Endless Adventure to make as many guides possible, so hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. It helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it greatly, and beyond that, there are plenty of links you can check out down below if you want to support me further. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start for the requirements for Rogue's Den, you're going to need 50 Agility and 50 Thieving. Neither of these can be boosted. You can't enter the minigame with any sort of armor or inventory supplies, so you don't have to worry about that. The reason you do the Rogue's Den is for the Rogue's Outfit. With the full set, it doubles your loot when you're pickpocketing, so it's very helpful for something like Master Farmer or Arty Knight, or all pickpocketing in general, but those are the two main ones. Overall, it takes 30 to 100 minutes to be able to complete. If you have over 80 thieving, it's going to be closer to the low end. If you have under 80 thieving, it's going to be closer to the high end. For those wondering how good the rogue's outfit is, if you do Arty Knight from 50 to 99 thieving, it would net you another 7.7 .7 mil. And if you did 80 to 99 with the rogue's outfit, that would net you 6.6 .6 mil. The difference there is 1.1 mil, so for the question of should you wait till 80 to do the faster method or just go at 50, personally I think it just makes sense to go at 50. Unless you get extremely unlucky with the loot that you get from here, then it's going to be better to get it early. If for some reason you were to get really unlucky, then it would be better to do it later. However, there's no way to predict those things. So to get to the Rogue's Den, the best option is going to be through the Games Necklace Teleport to Berthorp Games Room, or you could use the Combat Bracelet Teleport as well. Then from there, make your way on over to the local pub and head through the ladder on the southwestern side of the pub. Once you enter through the ladder, you'll be down here in this little Rogue Den area, and to the northern side, you can see this big old agility maze that we're going to have to make our way through a good bit. To do so, we'll want to talk to Brian or Richard, and he will tell us that we can play a game if we'd like to go ahead and try the maze again, so he will allow us in. I bring a nice little stamina dose because it's very helpful considering you're going to have to run a long ways. You can't wear any armor or bring anything in your inventory, so I just sip on it before I go in. I would also recommend super energies in your bank as you're going to need to refill your run energy in between trips. And then personally, I am using the Runelight client, and with that I can use the Rogue's Den plugin that's going to highlight all of the traps in blue. And I'm also using the Ground Marker plugin, which allows you to right click a tile on the ground and then you can mark it like so. So if you ever need to mark these tiles, just pause it as I go. I'm not going to slow it down in every room, but you'll be able to pretty clearly see where they are. There's only usually one or two tiles marked per room. So let's go ahead and make our way in there. Um, I'm going to be taking the long route. However, I'll show the shorter route that you can use with 80 Thieves if you have that available basically the same but you just get to cut ahead in front of the crowd so once you enter on in then go ahead and click on over to these bars over here you don't really need to worry about any of the traps in the initial room then from there go ahead and continue westward and run right through the pendulum in the next room head to this tile on the northeastern side and then you can click all the way to this grill over here without having to worry enter through there and head on to the next room in this room you want to click this little yellow tile right here and then you can click this one over here and you'll run through these little marks in the ground to explain it, you can't walk over four traps in a row, you can walk over three, so that's why we gotta take these weird routes to go about these places. So step up to this tile and then continue on to the west. Once you head on over to the next location, then go ahead and climb the ledge on over to the other side. Upon doing that, then continue to the next fork in the road where you'll want to take the northern passage. Once you're over here, you're going to want to step on one of the blades. So just step on the first tile of the blade and it will take you on over it. If you step on the second tile, it'll mess up and try to run you around it. So that is uh, pretty particular there. Then head through these pendulums and on to this little ledge that you'll go ahead and cross from there. Heading into the next corridor, we're going to want to stay on the western side here. Click on that yellow tile right there, and then click on this one over here. Now we'll be at the location where the level 80s can go ahead and take their fast route through. If you are level 80, pick lock through this door, head on through those bars, and then do a nice little lap around here, and you'll be at this grill over here, which is essentially a minute and a half to two minutes ahead of where we are right now. So there'll be a time on the screen that you can go ahead and move on to if you are of that level, but for the level 50s to 79, just go ahead and follow me. We'll hop on over that blade and continue to the north through a couple passageways. 
Then from there, run around to the northeast side here. I'll show what tiles I have marked because it is a little tricky. Um, basically just running through a couple traps at each location. And then we're good to go on through here. Just use the southeastern passageway and then open up this grill as well. Make sure to avoid the spinning blades and just head on over here. Climb the ledge and you'll head up on the other side where there is going to be a part in the map where we actually do have to deactivate a trap because there's four traps here we can't just run through it we're going to have to actually knock out the first one so once you're over here then go ahead and search the wall trap is no more and then you can head on through to more blades again click on the first tile of the blade and you'll head on through that then once you're in this room you'll have to pick up a tile it's always the southeastern tile so go ahead and grab that and throw it into the door by clicking on it like so once you're through the door, then you'll be in this little maze of different grills that you have to open and make your way on over to the other side. So you're going to want to head south, then head east, then head northeast in this next room, then to the southeast in the following. Then from there, all the way to the south. A little bit to the west, then go northwards. West again, and then from there you are good to go through the south, and you're on to what is the final stretch of the maze. So, from there, just continue on to the southward side. Run energy is getting pretty low, as you can tell, so it really does take it all out of you. Uh, once you get on over here, make sure to step on this tile in front of these three, so that way you don't accidentally run into it and get trapped. Then from there, open up this grill. You'll be able to run over the first section with no problem. Then from there in the second room you're going to want to click one tile over and then run over that way you don't get caught by one of these traps if you would have ran from the beginning the third trap would have gotten you so you want to make sure not to hit that from there run through this little area like so and head to the western side i prefer this side some people do the other one but it's very easy just click every four tiles and then you'll be good to go through that this is where the level 80s would have met us from before so welcome by if you just got here from there, the same thing's gonna happen again. Click four tiles to the north and then four more tiles to the north and you'll be good to go. Head on around this little U-shaped turn right here and grab some flash powder. There's gonna be a guard up here that if you don't hit him with the flash powder, he is going to knock you out of this mini game and that is pretty annoying considering you're right at the end. So hit him with the flash powder, make sure it attacks and then run on by him like so. Then you're on the final stretch. So right here, just go ahead and head on through these pendulums and over here, you'll see a bunch of blue boxes that indicate that these are the safes that you can go ahead and crack in hopes of getting some rogue pieces. So how to pick which wall safe is best for you. Essentially what you want to do is I would recommend just using this one as your default one and continually loot this each time you finish off your maze until you get a piece. After every attempt of cracking the safe, it will rotate one counterclockwise. So once you get a rogues piece here, then you know that the rogues piece is going to be in this one the next time, then it'll be over here the next time, and so on and so forth. However, that doesn't mean that you always get a rogues piece. You may also fail it, or you may get a rogues kit thing that just basically gives you some utility items and is pretty useless. So even if you are not successfully getting a rogues piece, as long as you're following that path, you will continually have the best chance of getting a rogues piece. And so that's a real secret that actually makes this a lot easier. Without that, you have to hope that you're guessing the right location and that you're not failing and that you're not getting the wrong item. So it can be a bit of a pain, but with that added knowledge, it does make the rogues den experience a little bit easier. Like so, there you go, got a rogue kit, and uh, yeah, you can pick from a spade, a chisel, a rope, or a tinderbox. <laughs> very useful, very, very useful. But that is going to be it for the Rogue's Den and Rogue's Armor Guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. On top of that, anything you'd like to tell me or others, would love to hear it down below in a comment. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as I go live, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.